finding a 90 degree angle and then secondarily finding a 45 is going to be the bread and butter of most of your layouts. How to get things squared up and drooped and looking nice and set out right. So we're going to do a little bit of that here on paper. And then you guys can always practice at home on paper. There's all kinds of videos on YouTube that you can go over finding angles and all kinds of things. Everything we're going to talk about. On your job, you will generally always find one first straight line, which you're going to use a chalk line to find this. Now, where this line is depends on what the shape of the job is. If you are working with a rectangle, most of the time you're just going to measure edge to edge, put a mark here, measure edge to edge, put a mark here, and snap a line through it. But what if your project is really funky shaped? Then where are you going to put your straight line? Well, that all depends on really your visual center, what looks right. Maybe the patio doors are right here, so we would actually put our first straight line in line with those doors or some other area. Once we find our first straight line, we snap it with the chalk line, we need to find a perfect 90 degree angle. We are going to put in a center point. Okay. This center point, again, if we had a rectangle, maybe we're going to measure the length of the area to find our center. If we have a goofy looking area, we have to pick a visual center. Now the center point uh, is where our layout can radiate from. So we want to pick somewhere that's going to look good to have this pattern starting. So I have my center point. Now we're going to use the compass. Now I have a big version of it. This is what we use out on the concrete. It'll hold a pencil or soapstone and whatever we want to use to mark with. But what we're going to do is we're going to take our compass. You put your fixed point on that center mark you just made. And put two equidistant marks on your line. Don't scribe the whole circle. You'll get so many lines on there that you'll never be able to figure out what's going on. You must extend the radius of your compass. It doesn't matter how much, but it's got to grow. So make your compass wider now. Once you've made your compass wider, your fixed point on your compass now goes on the line that you just marked. And we're going to scribe an arc on either side of our main line. You guys see that, how it's going? We do that from the top and the bottom mark. Now we're going to take our straight edge and run a line. Oops. Right through there. If you scribe a line between those two intersecting arcs that you just made, it should go right through your center point, giving you a perfect 90 degree angle. If you want to find a 45 degree angle, we need four equal distant marks from our center on these crosshairs. Okay, so we need to make four new marks that are equal distant. Now, I'm doing it with the compass. You can always do this with the tape measure, with your ruler. We're going to scribe arcs. And guess where they're going to be? We want a 45 through here, right? So our arcs are going to be down here. An arc. take our straight edge and draw a line through these if your straight edge was long enough. Okay. 